Hi everybody and welcome back to Judy P's Crafty Journeys. Um, today I'm going to bring to you a small haul from Tuesday mornings. I haven't been there in a while and I heard that their craft aisle was uh, pretty well bare and that they weren't going to have a craft aisle anymore and I now for the life of me can't remember who told me that but I haven't been in there uh, because of that reason and I thought today I thought you know what I'm out and about I'm going to go and check it out and I'm going to see for myself if there is no craft aisle anymore. So I went in and, um, pardon me, my thing is computers dinging. I have a, a problem with my laptop, so I am actually taping this on my phone and my computer guy is on my laptop. So that's why it dinged in like that. But anyway, um, I haven't been around in a while. I've been working a lot and I also have a side business, uh, my nails, Color Street side business as well. And I have just been super, super busy. Um, I've been trying to also catch up on my son's scrapbook and I've also been trying to do journals as well. Um, and I do actually have one done. Actually, yeah, I actually do have one done that I need to actually film and I haven't had a chance yet. But anyway, let me go ahead and get into this. It's a very short, um, it's going to be very short and sweet because I, uh, some of the things that I had in my basket, I put back. <laughs> but, uh, oh, then getting back to um, the Tuesday mornings after I rooted through all the clearance stuff, then I re uh, realized that they had rearranged their... <laughs> their store quite a bit and so there actually is a craft aisle still there but it was still sparse and they said they've got trucks coming in so I'm going to be uh, keeping my eye out for these trucks to come in because I really want to get there and see what they have first because uh, I know we have certain uh, they have certain people that check on it all the time and and are there when these trucks come in but anyway all right here we go so I did get these and these were on sale and there are some um, bath bath scents bath bombs that I thought was really cool and they were only $2.99 and I got 20% off on them. So I did get me a couple of those. Um, and that one, what was that one? That one is Cucumber Melon. And this one is Blackberry Vanilla. And they're packaged really pretty. And so I could either save these for some gifts or I could even use them for myself. But, uh... We'll see. I don't know. I probably will keep one for myself. All right. And so then in the clearance aisle, I did get these. Uh, $1.99 with 20% off again. And there's some uh, just ephemera tags. So metal rimmed tags, which I thought were pretty cool. There's uh, red and white polka dot. There's like a uh, aqua and polka dot. It looks like, I wonder if there's something back. There we go. On the back is all the colors that are in there. And I thought those were really cool. I've got some plain white ones that I do play around with from time to time. Uh, and put in my journals. But uh, I thought these were pretty cool. So I got those. And I got this. This was $1.99. These um, stitched tags. And that's what they look like. <clears throat> so I got 20% off of that. And let's see what else did I get on sale. Oh, this. Um, $1.99. Um, these are like, these stickers, they look like they're almost like a fabric of some sort. And uh, they're just really nice looking stickers. I'm not a big sticker person unless it comes to my photo album and then I'll put some in there. But as far as journals, uh, not so much. But uh, these are just really nice looking ones. So... I just might have to use some of those in a journal. We will see. And then I got this for 20% off as well. It's $1.19. This I actually got for um, my son's scrapbook. So I've got those. And I think, is that, nope, I got this here. Uh, $3.99, 20% off. And this is by Punch Studios. There's 125 sheets. And I just really liked this notepad. Um, just says notes on it. And I like the little bird on there. And then there's some background of words in there. So I really like those. 
so I can put some notes into uh, some of my things that I mail out to my customers. Um, so I got those, and then I also got, uh, that was the only one, that was the rest of the stuff on sale. The rest of the stuff was regular price. These were $1.99. I'm working on a retro cookbook journal right now at the moment, and these will be really nice uh, to use a couple of those. Uh, these and it, so I'm pretty psyched about it, or those. Well, you can tell I haven't done a video in a very long time. All right, um, this is Maggie Holmes Magnet Studio, $1.49, and I have an idea for a Halloween journal um, that will have a magnetic closure um, using these letters, so I'm pretty excited about that, and I hope that what I uh, do with it works, <laughs> what's in my head, so. And then I got these, um, Tim Holtz Ideology for $3.99, uh, these faucet knobs, I thought those were really, really cute. I'm going to use one of these in, um, I'm probably going to use it for like maybe the handle to open the book of the, um, uh, the, the retro cookbook that I'm doing because they show like a lot of the old fashioned kitchen and stuff. And I thought that'd be kind of cute. Maybe possibly we'll see. I'll have to think about it, but, uh, it kind of went through my head and that's why I went ahead and picked them up, but neither here nor there. They are very cool. And I will find something to do with those. All right. Um, <clears throat> they did get some new paper tablets in. I didn't get, um, any of them because there was a couple that I have, uh, ones that are similar and uh, so I just didn't. But uh, this right here, I did get this paper here, Country Kitchen, uh, Element Stickers, and it's a retro. And I went ahead and got that, thinking I could use that um, in my uh, cookbook that I'm getting ready to do. So, Echo Park Paper Company. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And then the last thing I purchased was Halloween. Because, of course, Halloween's going to be here before you know it. And I do want to get a couple of Halloween journals done. So this is uh, 12 by 12 Wonderfully Wicked Hocus Pocus. And it is by Bo Bunny. Um, and there goes my dinging again. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. Like I said, I think every time I do a film, that happens to me. But anyway, this is my favorite one on here. This cracked me up right here. It says, Eye of Newt. And this one's my favorite right there. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this Halloween one. And let's take a look and see what's in it. I hope that it's not a bunch of same papers, because this isn't actually a pack. It's just a loose pack, and uh, they had more, but I didn't want to get them, because I thought if that's what the case is, I don't want to end up with a whole bunch of them, and I don't want to go back. But All right, so let's see here. Yep, and it is. Yep, look at that. It's all the same. Yeah, I was wondering, because I've had this happen to me before, and that's fine. Um... I have friends, and, I, and I'll be sending some out to them as well. Um, we will see who I send them to, but I uh, have a few friends that are really into Halloween, and so I will just send some to them, because now i got like enough for a whole bunch of people. <laughs> I kind of figured that was what the deal was, but I wasn't, couldn't be 100% on it, so... Um, and while I am on here, I might as well go ahead and just open up this retro kitchen one and see what it looks like. All right, so let's see what we got here. And I already kind of perused through this already. And it's two-sided paper. And yes, I do believe that is retro. From way back when all the colors the color scheme so it evidently has two of each now I like this these daisies I think those are pretty 
and then that's the back side of it. Talks about a garden and it's got some nice bird houses on it and such. So I like that one. And so that's the same. And then we've got the polka dots. And we got some really cool looking roosters on the other side. So we got two of those. And here's some stripes. And, uh, oh, this is really cool. You can punch those out and I can uh, put some uh, Mod Podge, not Mod Podge, yeah, Mod Podge. Is it Mod Podge? Mod Podge Dimensional magic on these and make them look like uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it um, like tops of bottles and stuff so that it's nice and shiny yeah I like that one that was really cool so I got some ideas rattling around in my head for that and then all oh, these are really cute check out the cows and the pig and the dog and there's roosters very very cute and the other side is actually a farm theme. We've got the barn over here and the house. And so that's pretty cool. So there's two of that in there. And then, well, is there only one of those in there? Nope, they're the same. They're just, it was turned over the other way. So I think this is about as retro as you can get. So, but very, very cool. And then the back is just the green and white checked. And uh, I actually, yep, the other side of it is just the beginning of it. So, but I can cut out that and do something really cool with that. So, that is it, guys. That is my little small haul from Tuesday mornings. And I hope that you liked everything that I got. And um, for those of you that have a Tuesday mornings um, near you, you might want to check out to make sure that yours has a new craft aisle as well and see when their trucks are coming in. Because uh, I'm sure it'll be a lot of new stuff because the last so many times I had went, it was pretty well picked over anyway. And uh, it'll be nice to see some fresh stuff in there. So kind of keep an eye out so that you can be one of the first people to get there. Oh, and here one more thing. My really cool, cool cup that I got from Dollar General for Halloween. So it's one of those cool gear ones, but I thought it was really super cool. So since I just got it not too long ago, I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. I've missed all you guys. Um, I'll be back here soon. I've got a flip through of a journal I want to do. And I have a couple projects that I need to get done as well um, and do for BB Craft. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.